Yo, 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 what's cracking koalas? Telly McLean here. Thank you again for stopping by. Uh, back Coming back to you guys with another workflow video on a koala sampler. I did one a few weeks ago, and I got a lot of positive responses on it, so I figured I'd just kind of keep doing these workflow videos. And just kind of figure out a format, honestly, because I really don't have one, but seems seems to be very informative and helpful and I'm, I'm, i appreciate that you guys have been watching it so um without further ado yeah let's just get right into it about to make a beat with y'all so we got this little loop right here from uh, that we got from twitter uh for free loop fridays uh from the home at marriott but yeah so right now i'm gonna go ahead and resample it i'm gonna I'm kind of messing with some of these effects get it where I want it so I can resample it with a little bit of compression. So now that I got it chopped up, I'm going to just kind of adjust the volume just to make sure it's not like too loud. We go like half a dB for every single one. I mean, it's just a trial and error thing. You know, and it, obviously, it's, I always go back and check it once I start adding drums and any other layers. But yeah. All right. So now we're going to lay down a pattern. Uh, usually prior to that I would find the beats per, the beats per minute but I already did that it's pretty simple it's got the little tempo tap on there just play your sample kind of tap it out till you find a, a good BPM and then you know what I mean kind of just find the sweet spot in there Get some drums up in here. I was working on a couple kicks, but they're all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find a different one. Um, same process as last time, essentially. I do tweak little things here and there just to kind of test new things out. But I'm just gonna show you how I EQ these these things and compress them so I can get the best sound out of them, in my opinion.
mind, it's my favorite time of the day. It's hat time. I'm laying down some hats. Bear with me, y'all. I'm going to look for a snare. I know this is where it gets repetitive. The hi-hats haven't already been repetitive <laughs> for you. I know it's mostly producers, so y'all probably used to it, but same time, I always just feel, it's, I don't know, it makes me feel weird making you guys listen to me picking and sifting through a billion sounds. <laughs>
right, so now I'm going to go ahead and resample a little bit of a little hi hat action to get a little bit more natural feel. Hope y'all enjoyed that workflow video. I uh, hope it was informative. If you guys have any questions or any comments, suggestions for anything I could break down in the future or anything you guys are interested in seeing, uh, leave it in the comments. I'm just going to leave the beat right here. <laughs>